Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planets. My name is The Lady and today I'm going to do a short introduction about the game. Fishing Planets is uh, free to play and you can uh, uh, catch it on uh, Steam. So uh, I uh, strongly recommend uh, you try it out because it's an awesome fishing simulator. Uh, it looks very nice. So um, here's uh, I'll, what I'll do. I'll explain everything that's on top of here, um, the map a little, and then also uh, the menus that show up when we hit one of those buttons. So back to the world map, which is here. Currently we only have uh, America where we can fish right now. They will implement Europe later on. And at this uh, uh, stage, I'm currently level 3, uh, there are three places I can visit, but uh, this one, the Michigan, um, that only lasts for two weeks because then they're going to close it up again. They just uh, opened it up for uh, some testing. So right now the two places that uh, you can go to as a beginner is uh, Mudwater River in Missouri or Lone Star Lake in Texas. And this one uh, is just a week old. It got implemented last week, uh, halfway of April, uh, during the patch of uh, 0.3.7. And we're very happy with it that uh, it's being added because well, one of the things is that um, some players do go broke here because they make bad decisions or they spend uh, too much of, uh, of their currency. And this is the only place you can go to which has no costs at all, no matter if you uh, travel or how many days you stay, it's uh, completely free. But uh, the original starting area is the Mudwater River in Missouri. And that's also where I'll uh, be focusing on on the first couple of levels. Uh, mainly because uh, I have tried out uh, the Lone Star Lake uh, for a couple of days now. But there are still some spots I'm not really sure about. Uh, so I know a lot more about uh, the Missouri. Anyways, uh, as you can see, the places you can go to are dark grey. And the ones you cannot go to yet, they are light grey and they have this lock on it. So, as you can see, here it says level 16. You need to be before you can enter it. And here, of course, the costs are quite uh, quite high. 320 bucks just to travel there. And then for each day that you fish there, it's going to cost you 20 bucks extra. And then here we have level 8, the Colorado Lake. Level 18 level 14. Anyways, you can check it out yourself uh, once you log in. Just click on it. It won't um, immediately travel you uh, towards the destination, so no worries. Uh, also, when you click on a, on a place, and you see this one right here. If you click on it, it opens up and you get to see the details. Like the days, uh, what kind of weather it is, if it's sunny or cloudy, what the temperature is, what the fishing peak hours are. The higher it is up, the more fish you're uh, likely to catch. Uh, this is stuff that's uh, still coming up, that uh, the developers are working on. And then here you have some information about uh, the place itself. I'm going to close it right now. Because here you see the same information, but here you also see the type of fish that you can catch. And as you can see, a couple of those are green, and then there are two that are red. And it basically means that um, it uh, all depends on uh, the license that you're having. Right now I just have the basic license and it means that I can get uh, any bass, catfish, crappies, panfish that there are here. Panfish is uh, just a general word for all types of fish like shiners and uh, small minnows and stuff like that. Then uh, the pike. These are uh, restricted uh, uh, fishes and you can only catch them if you uh, or you're only allowed to keep them if you uh, have an, uh, uh, an additional license uh, purchased. And same goes for the gar, but the gar is uh, not a fish you want to uh, hook when you're level 3 or level 5 or 6. It's something that uh, players uh, begin to try at level 12 and only with the best gear because this fish uh, can reach up to 36, 37 kilograms. So it's, it's a very, very long struggle. So back to the game. We've uh, seen the world map. It's uh, this symbol you can see where you are, right there. First, uh, on the left is this one. It's your options, it's your profile, your settings, uh, the credits of the game. 
Uh, I'll leave you to it to uh, to tweak with uh, stuff like settings and all. Then here, what you see is um, we have uh, this uh, little crown. Uh, I'm sure there's an English word for it, but I'm not a native English speaker, so uh, pardon me for that. Um, right now, it's uh, light uh, gray. But if uh, you're a premium member, if you've uh, spent a few uh, real-life uh, currencies uh, into the game, you can become a, a VIP or a premium member, and then this will, will become um, gold. Um, a premium member means that you earn more experience. So uh, this shows the level you are, and here you see this bar, and it indicates uh, your progress. So right now, I've just hit level 3. So I only have a small white dot on it, so I still have to fill this all the way up before I reach level 4. Okay, so here's the map button, then we go to the inventory. And the inventory is shown here. This is what you're carrying with you right now. And also here, this is your pack that you're having with you. And it shows all the different stuff that's in it. And then here, we have our home. Uh, sort of a Home Depot, so you just uh, drop uh, everything in here when your bag is full and everything you purchase from the store will also be dropped in here when uh, it can't be placed into your bag. And then here we have the licenses, so the Texas Basic License and the Basic Missouri License and these are both unlimited, so they last forever. Um, if we go back here to either bag or the home store you see a couple of symbols here and it's nothing else than just uh, having everything divided so in this one you get an overall view of what you have and then here you have uh, your reels and your uh, uh, rods and over here are your terminal tackles your lines uh, lures and uh, other uh, lures your uh, spoons and spinners then we have the baits and this is for things like here, your stringer or your bag. And then this is a car. Um, they haven't implemented it in game yet, uh, nor have they implemented boats, only for uh, visual uh, effects. But um, hopefully they'll add uh, this soon, it will be nice. So now that we've uh, covered uh, this, oh, I'm forgetting uh, something. If we uh, go here and click on, uh, on the arrow, You'll see the specs of uh, what you're currently carrying. So right now, this is my Telefloat 650. Uh, what the durability is, uh, it lowers the more you use it, so eventually you will have to repair it. Then here are the specs about uh, your reel, then the line you're using, what kind of bobber you're using, the hook. I currently use the red worms for a bait. And then the hobby gear, the old denim, uh, the belt pocket and the stringer are what I have on me right now. Okay, so we've uh, done this one. Now we go here, this is the shop. And this is a place that you're going to spend quite a lot of time uh, trying out different uh, stuff. Uh, drooling over the stuff that's uh, just with uh, not in your re range uh, yet, in your reach. Um, first off, we start with the rods. Uh, as you can see here, you can uh, uh, tap some boxes like a sale or what's new or the type of rods that there are. And here you can sort either by uh, lowest price, highest price, lowest level or name. Uh, most of the time I sort by lowest level just uh, so that I get a. No. Oh, yeah. It was one of the bugs they still need to fix. Anyway, so. Here we have the lowest level, so you can see here is uh, level 2. You see star with a 2 behind it, it means uh, the level. So here's level 3, and this is one that I just purchased. And then level 4 and so on. And you can see that uh, the things that you can purchase, um, the buttons are in green, and the things that you can't yet uh, buy are in grey. Also you see uh, two different types of currencies, I'll explain those later. So here is uh, here are our rods, then we have the reels, and there's a difference also here between spinning reels and casting reels, I'll get to that later in, a, in another movie about tackling gear. We have our lines, obviously, very important. 
there are tools and equipment. Um, pretty handy to have a couple of uh, stuff like that as well. Uh, our hooks and bobbers. And then we have lures and as you can see we're still working on uh, these. We're bound to get a few poppers, swim baits, jerk baits, spinner baits and frogs coming up in the nearby future. So that's going to be cool. Um, then we go to baits. There are all kinds of baits that you can purchase. Uh, some are for uh, gold coins, uh, other are for just the common currency. And here you also see the amount of it. So here you have to uh, spend 4 bucks to get 25 red worms, whereas cheese is only 2 bucks and you get 50. And then here are the licenses. Now keep in mind, uh, I am going to explain this uh, also uh, in the leveling videos. Is that uh, licenses are, uh, are of uh, quite a big importance to the game. Because right now we are fishing in Missouri. Texas doesn't uh, have a license, uh, Missouri does. And here you see what you can and what you cannot do. So if you have um, just the basic license instead of the, the advanced one, then if you catch a grass pickerel or a trophy grass pickerel, you have to let them go. If you don't, you will get a fine. And those fines can be pretty steep. So always make sure that you have bought yourself a license or an, or an uh, advanced license. Uh, for Missouri there are no restrictions on uh, what you must take and what uh, you uh, are not allowed to catch. But um, uh, the moment you go fishing in Missouri say from level 4, uh, free actually already, you can catch these pickerels. Spikes. So then it's very wise to uh, to purchase an uh, advanced license. You can do so, you can select uh, the time that you want it, the, the days. And uh, note that these are real life days. So if I purchase this at 7pm uh, in, in the evening, it lasts 24 hours. So until the next day 7pm in the evening and only then does it expire. So don't confuse it with uh, in-game days, this is real life time. So um, it's uh, most of the time I try to buy something like the free days or the week. And if I have a lot of money and I'm on spending spree, I buy the unlimited one. Um, then here we have the premium shop and this of course goes for real currency. You can become a premium account member, which means that, as you can see right here, this uh, 360 days. Uh, you be a premium, you get 2,000 uh, credits, and you get all the license, uh, annual license packs. And if we go over here, we can buy credits, and it just includes credits. And then just some free coins. Okay, so that's the store. I'll uh, explain more in the, the leveling videos to come and I'll also do a special video about um, how to create the best balanced setup for uh, for your gear it would be uh, rods, reels and blinds and I'll explain something uh, a little more about those but for now we're doing uh, just an introduction so if we go here you see the statistics and so you see here I'm the lady number two because this is uh, my video account um, you can see if you want to become a premium member or not when we st I started to play, play uh, how many uh, points I need to gain for uh, the next uh, level up how many fish, are, fish I've got so far, how many trophies and then here we have uh, the trophies or the, the fish that I uh, caught so far and these are uh, the biggest fish that you've caught of uh, each species. So I have a young largemouth uh, bass. I uh, hooked it up in the uh, Mudwater River. Here's just the date, uh, how uh, much it weighed, and what its length was. And then here it says if you caught it with red worms or whatever bait it is that you used. Um, I am hoping that they are still going to add a little more details as uh, for weather conditions and at what time you caught it. Um, so far they, uh, they haven't included those because time and weather are, are pretty important uh, notes to have on uh, when to catch certain types of fish. So moving on, here we have the trophy crappy we got it in, uh, during the tutorial that everybody did. 
Uh, we have the standard white crappy, we have the blue gale, and then the blood nose minnow, which I caught in uh, while I was leveling, which was actually my first fish that I uh, caught. And I wasn't very happy about it, but anyways, it's uh, the smallest one, but it's it's okay. And then, uh, last but not least, here we have the achievements. And we have silver, bronze, and gold. Uh, obviously, obviously, bronze is uh, the first one that you get. Now you get silver, now you get uh, gold. If you hover uh, over it with your mouse, you'll see what you need to do uh, to obtain the... Uh, one uh, one of the achievements. So here for Pike Conqueror you have to catch 250 pikes. For Penfish Dominator you need to catch 250 Penfish and so far I've got 5. Uh, penfish are like uh, the White Crappies, the Blue Gills, the Blood Nose Minnows. Those are uh, all kinds of Penfish. Um, Maniac means uh, that you have to catch 100 fish in a day and so on and so forth. And when you reach an achievement, it either uh, rewards you with uh, a couple of bucks, it always rewards you with experience, and sometimes it rewards you with gold. Here is um, our tournaments, that's still a work in progress. And then here we have the leaderboard. And this shows you... <coughs> pardon me. This shows you uh, the top uh, 100 players uh, at this moment. How much uh, experience they gained and uh, you can check here this is uh, just world and then here you can see weekly experience experience fish trophies unique so for instance we uh, try unique and then we see that here Haliox does he is uh, uh, 3667 uniques caught and this is how many trophies he's got and in total uh, this person has got over 60 uh, 36,000 uh, fish, so that's quite a lot, quite an active player. And then over here we see the last 7 days of the fish top 100. And you can sort by world, or you can sort by yourself. Uh, so far it's not updated yet because it updates uh, every 24 hours only. And here we can sort things on like bass, or trout, or penfish. So the, you can see what kind of uh, fish are being caught. Uh, the standard goes on uh, the biggest fish in game right now, which is the trophy alligator car. As you can see, it was 39 kilograms. And nearly 2 meters long. Let's say that we want to know how many bass there are caught, and what kind of bass. And you can see it here, and also what the biggest one is. And here, we can select the uh, regions that the fish are caught. So say we want to know uh, how uh, big the biggest bass was in Mudwater River, then we select Mudwater River and he will see that in the last seven days uh, Kalerba, I think, <laughs> sorry if I pronounced the name wrong, my apologies for that, but um, anyways that person has caught the biggest bass, a little over two kilograms, uh, almost half a meter long, and it was a trophy. So this is uh, what uh, what the statistics show, uh, the leaderboard, and then we have the quests that are coming up. Your friends, if you click on it, you can find a friend by either entering the username in game or the email uh, address of that person. I am uh, this is my main account, so of course I've got that one added to it. Um, if you uh, are friends with someone on Steam. Uh, this is something I found out uh, lately, and they have played the game too. They will automatically be added to your friends list, so you don't need to add them in game here. But they will pop up here. Um, then we have a club, but that's still also a work in progress. And then here we have the tutorials, and these uh, also come in pop-ups uh, whenever you either level up or catch a fish that you haven't caught before, or something changes, you will get these in game. But you can also find them here. I'm going to leave it to you guys so to read this up on your own. Um, because well, it shows you uh, the information about the uh, inventory, shop, traveling and so on. Uh, and I don't want to make this, uh, this video too long. So then we have two more buttons to go right now. Which are this one and that one. Well, it's not, not really buttons, it's just more of a icon. This is uh, the two types of currencies that we have in-game. 
Uh, we have the gold currency, which is a premium. And then we have the normal cur currency, which is either sometimes called silver or bucks or credits. Just uh, whatever you like it. This is what uh, what we get the most. It's uh, when uh, you uh, you catch a fish, you will be rewarded with uh, with this. Um, for uh, gold, there are three ways. Obviously, there is uh, purchasing it with real money. Uh, then there's also when you level up, you get a uh, gold. Uh, four ways actually, because then there's achievements, which I just mentioned earlier, and then finally there are catching unique fish. Uh, unique fish are very rare, uh, they're uh, sometimes pretty hard to catch, they only can be caught between certain times of uh, uh, on a day and during certain types uh, of weather, and then also your setup has to be in the completely correct and stuff like that. But uh, they do generate gold, and gold is also a currency that you can use in the store, as I showed you guys earlier. For instance, if we go here, we're uh, at level 3, so we already uh, can buy this one if we would have the amount of gold. And um, buying stuff uh, in, uh, in the store with gold uh, usually means that this is a far much better rod than something of the same level. That's cost normal money. So um, purchasing something with uh, gold is, uh, is is a good thing, but um, be wise. Don't spend every single uh, gold coin that you have. Uh, try to save uh, save some. For instance, here you can see that uh, you can purchase the best of fish stringer for 18 gil, uh, gold. What I'm doing is I'm saving mine for this one because it will allow me uh, to uh, bring four rods to uh, to an area and it allows also for an extra reel to bring it so just just uh, think it through don't uh, don't uh, uh, throw your gold away uh, same goes for your money there's no need to uh, to go broke in this game uh, it can happen uh, but if you're careful enough if it it's uh, it will be okay so that's uh, basically it I've uh, shown you uh, what everything uh, here is. Um, I'll explain some more stuff in, uh, in detail later. But uh, first up, I'm uh, going to make a vid about uh, uh, reaching level 3 and what to do then. And then later on I'll uh, also make a vid about reaching level 4. And I'll make a uh, separate vid about uh, Lone Star Lake in Texas. Okay, see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like, subscribe. Happy days and tight lines. Bye bye.